Hey, Caleb here with Crypto Sewer, and this is a basic setup for the new XMR Stack version 2.3.0. If you are upgrading from an older version, please note that none of the older config files are compatible with this new version, so you will need to use the newly generated files. To download the new version, visit GitHub and download the source code to compile yourself or click Releases to download a zip file containing the executable. I had Windows Defender flag mine, so I went into Windows Defender Settings, Security Center, Virus and Threat Protection, Settings, turned off Real-Time Protection, and re-downloaded. Unzip the files to a new location. Like I said earlier, the old files are not compatible with the new version. When you first launch the miner, you'll be prompted with a series of questions to initially configure the miner. First question is one of my favorite features, the HTTP interface. This will allow you to remotely monitor your hash rate. Enter an unused port number to activate it. I'll go into more detail later. Next, enter the currency you want to mine. Enter your pool address and port, wallet address, password, and rig identifier if you'd like. If you don't need or know what TLS support, NiceHash, or need multiple pools, type no on these. Press enter and XMR stack will begin mining. Press H to see your hash rate, R for results, and C for connection. All of the options you entered can be edited in your config file. Earlier I talked about the web interface option, so let's check that out. Open a web browser and type in your IP address, colon, the port you entered earlier, and slash h. You'll see your hash rate in a nice looking web browser now. You can also check your results and connection information. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. New episodes of the podcast are coming soon, so don't miss it. Comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.